Right, this is the road test video for a Honda Civic 2.2 EX diesel. Uh, car is registered KG07OSW. Start of this brief road test, the mileage currently showing is 88,720 miles. Uh, purpose of this road test, just briefly, is to just give a bit of reassurance to those who are coming a distance to come and see us. Uh, we, you know, we're now selling to people all over mainland Europe and the extremes of the UK. So clearly, if people are willing to invest time, money, and energy to come and see us, we just want people to have that reassurance that they know that if they're coming, to know that the car they're coming to see is a good example. If there's any issues, I can tell you about them before you come. What I try and do on these videos is just go through in the same sort of order as you would when you come to drive the car. Um, the kind of things you're, you're going to be looking out for yourself. Uh, so with that in mind, I always start with the engines. A uh, good place to start with the Hondas. The engine in this car is obviously the CTDI diesel engine. Uh, it's a brilliant, brilliant engine, generally speaking. This one's been very well looked after and is a lovely, lovely example of one of them. Uh, very, very sweet revving. Starts absolutely on the button, no strange noises coming from the engine, no vibrations that shouldn't be there, no strange odours. It pulls like an absolute train and it's so, so sweet and revving. I mean, it's a, it's a, it is a truly brilliant engine and this one is a fantastic example of one. It's it just, it's the smallest engine uh, car they put the engine in and it's, you know, it's uh, it just a touch of the throttle and things flying away. And I said, you know, as an example of this individual engine, this this is brilliant. No warning lights on the dashboard at all, relating relating to the engine or anything else for that matter. The engine then drives through the clutch and gearbox, both an absolutely superb order. Clutch as light as a feather, bites halfway up the pedal travel, which is exactly where it should be on the Civics, and goes through this brilliant six-speed gearbox. It really is a work of art. It's very typical Honda. This one again, I can't find anywhere in it at all. It engages every gear absolutely perfectly. Synchro mesh on every gear is just spot on. No strange noises, no clicks, no crunching, no nothing at all. It's, it's, it's a really, truly wonderful example of one. Steering on the car, really lovely and precise. It's a, you know, it's a, great setup as you go through these tight lanes here which is really where they come into their own these civics uh, tight corners like this you just turn the wheel turns in absolutely perfect holds its line its trajectory absolutely perfectly as well i can't feel anything coming back through the steering that shouldn't be there so there's no yeah no looseness about it it tracks bullets straight no vibrations at speed uh you know i, I can't again steering wise absolutely spot on brakes on the car solid as a rock absolutely vibration free no tremors when you're pushing the brake pedal down it's right at the top of the pedal there's no discernible wear in the braking system at all suspension wise again you know it's a the, the civics have a, a you know they do have a firm ride which i love i think it's the right side you know in terms of the compromise which you know the suspension setup's all about uh, what it gives you is this brilliant kind of a and b road drive it's a fun, truly brilliant car for this there's no knocking noises for coming from underneath no these little chatters or vibrations where you get what they call these anti-roll bar link arms um, on a lot of modern cars they're that they were built the built-in design weak spot for the car to save the main structure of the suspension but sometimes you get a bit of a chattering noise or you can feel it through the car when you hit a bump you kind of get a little kind of little aftershock but there's nothing there at all it's 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 absolutely strong as an oxus car it really does feel really really tight and and they can vary because you know it depends on how they've been owned and who's looked after them people can let things go a little bit even on the civics but this one it really 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 is a very very tight car it's absolutely brilliant Coming back to the dashboard here, which you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know exactly what I think of them. I think it's a, a, a true work of art. Um, the plastics in this car are in really fantastic condition. So whoever's owned the car has kept this thing really, really nicely. 
and obviously it's a big spec car as you know from the advert so it's got you know this leather and pan roof on top of the, 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 the usual standard stuff um, but coming across the dashboard here all this is in really top order Again, we've not touched this car this car came into us about half an hour ago and we've not cleaned it and this is exactly what came to us so it's in wonderful wonderful condition so EX model you've got this lovely high up display for the sat nav which is really simple and easy to use using the controls here or you can use voice activation for it as well no pixelation on any of the um, dual zone climate control readouts up there the center um, section of the dashboard on the EXs has this big rotary knob here which does the controls for the the main functions on there all in perfect working order every button I pressed has got that lovely high quality click click feel to it and none of the plastics have been marked at all on there. It's, it's really, really top condition. Dead simple to use. It's, um, as I said, 100 done a really fabulous job on this car. So I'll squeeze through here a second. Then you've got the main manual controls for the air conditioning system, which is what I tend to use, I must admit. You, you can do it by voice activation. I get a bit frustrated with it, especially at speed. You know, you ask for fan speed five and you end up with the radio two or something. Um, but it all works really nicely. Best part of the dashboard for me is what's straight ahead, which has got this lovely high up MPH readout on this two tier dashboard, which means I can be looking at the car front now, but in my peripheral vision, I can see the speed of the car absolutely instantly. Uh, it's, it's such a clever design. It works brilliantly in, in, in practice. And in this car here, all the perspex on the, the dashboard is completely unmarked. There's no scratches or you know finger marks on there, which you know again some of the some of the models have suffered from. But it all works perfectly. Um, the main binnacle here underneath has got this big bold rev counter attached to it, which is so easy to read. To the left of that, you've got the temperature gauge, which on the Civics, whether it be petrol or diesel, should be running around about a third of the way up the, the gauge, and that's exactly where this one is here. Fuel gauge to the right, and in the middle, you've got the center display for you know, things like your trip meter, how much fuel we've got left, which um, seatbelt's been used or otherwise. And in this case, I've got you know average MPG reading, which ironically is currently showing 56 miles to the gallon, which is what I've been doing over the last 10 or 12 miles uh, without really trying to be honest with you steering wheel is in again brilliant condition there's nowhere on the, the uh, painted plastics For, you know, it's, it's a multifunction so you've got audio top left top right here we've got the cruise control so if you want to activate cruise control just press the cruise button there and the green light comes up on the dashboard to activate it you just use this middle button and basically press set I've done now and now my cruise control is active foots off the throttle it's maintaining 46 miles per hour if I want to speed it up I'll just use this rocker switch here and put it up to say 50 miles an hour and it just holds that speed for me so if I want to deactivate it if I hit the clutch or the brake pedal or press the cruise button or cancel obviously it'll get rid of those so that's all fully functional down below that you've got your information display uh, controls and your uh, voice activation stuff is on the bottom left here. To the right, obviously the engine starts and all the switches, but every switch I've pressed has worked absolutely perfectly on the car. I mean, it really, really does drive beautifully. Uh, you know, I will criticize the car. If I can find something I'll criticize on it, I will, as I've done on previous videos. But, you know, in all honesty, you know, if they all drove as well as this, I'd be a very happy man. It's a, it's a, it's a really crisp, lovely car. You know, it doesn't exhibit any kind of any noticeable wear in it at all, to be honest with you. So you know, whether you're coming ten minutes up the road or setting off for two or three days drive to come and see us, then you know you really can do so with a you know, very high level, uh, high degree of confidence on the car. great engine it just gets up to speed in absolutely no time at all which is what you should do with the diesels anyway to get the best economy then just back off and let the torque of the engine do the work because it's uh, 
but these are the roads the car absolutely excels at it's you know it, it, it eats up corners without you know while I hate a lot of cars it just you know, they, 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 they they kind of fall over in the corners if you like but this one it really does you know, hold it hold the road beautifully I'm going to end the video now I've got the sun directly in my eyes which I know will be in the camera's eyes as well or lens rather um, but if I've missed anything on this video or the text of the advert then please do phone us and we'll get back to you immediately but uh, be reassured the car drives beautifully